so sleep paralysis is like where you you wake up or are some cases you fall when you're falling asleep your body falls asleep before your mind does or you wake up and your mind wakes up or your body's asleep so your body's like paralyzed basically from like the neck down and the only thing you can really move is your eyes actually my first experience with sleep paralysis it was really comforting because you you feel like i don't know if you've ever had like surgery or been under anesthesia but it kind of feels like you woke up from that and you feel like, like the deepest tiredness you've ever felt you know and imagine all of that tired weight is on your head and it's just like like you're so tired that you your your head feels heavy you know and you feel like you can't and but it's comfortable right because when you wake up in the morning you want to be able to fall back asleep so i'm like okay this would be easy this is kind of a nice relaxing ride but then uh my eyes weren't open but i could feel the in the hotel right i could feel a cat jump up on the bed and walk across my legs like you know you feel the pressure of a bed when something you know walks on it or so i felt that and at first i was like okay yeah that's normal <laughs> but then i realized wait i'm in a hotel in san antonio like there's no cats or dogs in this yeah what was that was that wasn't real you know because i thought i was awake and it turns out it wasn't real it was all just my mind and then when i realized after that i tried to wake up i tried to move because i realized i was actually not fully awake i guess i guess i thought i was dreaming so I, and I was trying to escape the dream but i couldn't move you know i couldn't move my body and it freaked me out so i started yelling um from because my mom and my mom's like literally in the next bed over yeah. Like, so I'm like, maybe she can wake me up if I can just get her attention. The bathroom light was like on in the hotel. And then my mom walked from the bathroom uh, over here and then laid like across me where I ended up like with this pressure, you know, where I could hardly breathe. And that's when I really started trying to scream and like yell and like say, wake me up, mom, mom, wake me up. Because uh, that was also part of the dream as well or sleep paralysis for her. Yeah. Good but that, did that actually happen? Like, uh, did did your mom actually like yeah it seemed like that it, but no it didn't happen because when i woke up right she was just sleeping you know she couldn't hear me yelling or anything even though i was like in the dream or the sleep paralysis i was trying to yell at the top of my lungs but i couldn't like everything that you thought was happening for you it seemed real but in reality it was just you dreaming yeah that's what's so scary about it you know because of how real it feels like to feel the pressure of the bed to... it's almost like lucid dreaming well it's funny that you mentioned that because... oh, yeah. how, how would you relate that to to it yeah no it's actually very related so <laughs> the funny thing about that is people usually use sleep paralysis it's a technique to induce lucid dreaming and i've done it actually well, i do it all the time that's actually how most of my lucid dreams start so i i just lay on my back until my body falls and becomes paralyzed into sleep paralysis and then when i kind of sense it or feel it I move my dream hand out of my real hand and enter the dream kind of thing. Now that hasn't happened as much when I'm trying to fall asleep, but every other time in the past few years, and this has happened recently, just like last month it happened in the early morning when I wake up and go back to sleep, I just kind of fall into this sleep paralysis thing. Um, you can kind of feel it when your mind starts going in and out, like in the sounds cart start like flittering away. And then you can feel the heaviness on your body. And then once you kind of feel your physical body disconnect kind of from reality, it's, I guess you could say, then I move my dream hand like out of my physical hand and I leave my bed and I'm in the dream. And it's just a different feeling than real life. Doesn't it sound like outer body experience stuff? Yeah, it makes me think of that. Like it makes me, because, you know, one of my friends told me that at night his body will lift from his actual it, it was like almost like astral projection. He had a crush on her and he told her like, hey, I saw you last night. She's like, what do you mean? And he was like, yeah, you were wearing like a yellow shirt and you were tucked in in bed. Uh, and she was like, how did you know I was wearing a yellow shirt? And he started telling her that his soul went to 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 her. Well, you're talking about astral projection. I think that's just, I think, or maybe what if we're all talking about the same thing? You know, I say I can enter sleep paralysis and leave my physical body in my dream body and I'm in a lucid dream. But then other people say, no, that's astral projection. My spirit is leaving my physical body when I'm sleeping. But then other people say, no, that's an outer body experience, like a near death experience kind of. So mm -hmm. it's like, well, I, they all sound very similar. But I think we're just using different words maybe for the same experience. But one 
vivid experience I had one morning was it, it was where I was kind of felt like I was lifting out of my, instead of like just moving my hand, I felt like I was actually floating above my physical body in my dream body, just as per usual, like I usually do in the morning to lucid dream. But at that moment, it felt so like everything felt so much stronger in terms of uh, texture, detail, sensation. Like I could feel vibrations throughout my dream body that I couldn't feel before. And I could see the glowing kind of parts of my, my hands, you know, when I was out, it just feels like energy vibrations, like, and then the physical sensations are so powerfully strong, you know, right before it happened, the voice was talking to me when I was laying on my back and I thought I was going crazy. I was like, Oh, great. I inherited my dad's schizophrenia and now I'm actually starting to go crazy. <laughs> but then I realized, oh, wait, no, this is a dream. It's sleep paralysis. And so I started lifting up and that's when I felt the, you know. When people have astral projection, their soul is almost lifted out of their body, but a small string still attaches yes. to, 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 to the actual body. <laughs>